Welcome to the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast, where we bring you the grassroots tips, tricks, and stories in everything entrepreneurship, digital marketing, and personal development. I'm your host, Andres Olguin. Well, hey there, Bootstrap Moguls. Welcome back to another episode of the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast, where we dive deep into the world of freelancing, side hustles, and all things entrepreneurial. I'm your host, Andres Olguin, and today we are continuing our exciting series on different types of freelance services that you can offer to build your dream business. So in our previous episodes, we explored a variety of freelance opportunities from graphic design and content writing to social media management and video production. These episodes have been packed with actionable tips and insights to help you kickstart your freelance journey or take your existing business to the next level. Now today, we're diving into a service that is so important to so many of us, tutoring. Yes, tutoring, whether it's helping students ace their math exams, guiding someone through the complexities of social media marketing, or teaching a new language, tutoring offers an incredible opportunity to share your knowledge and skills while earning a solid income. Now, you might be thinking, tutoring, really? But let me tell you, tutoring is an incredibly versatile and rewarding freelance service. It's not just about academic subjects, though those are certainly in demand. You can actually tutor in virtually any area you have expertise in. Do you love cooking? You can tutor aspiring chefs. Passionate about fitness? Offer personal training sessions. The possibilities are endless. Now, tutoring allows you to connect with people, make a tangible difference in their lives, and build a business that can adapt to your schedule and lifestyle. It's flexible, scalable, and incredibly fulfilling. So in today's episode, we're going to break down how you can get started with tutoring as a freelance service. We'll explore the growing demand for tutoring, how to identify your niche and best practices for creating effective lesson plans and delivering engaging sessions. Plus, I'll share some tips on how to build your reputation and grow your client base. So whether you're looking to add another income stream, pivot to a new field, or you want to simply share your passion and knowledge with others, tutoring is a fantastic option to consider. So grab your notebook, get comfy, and let's dive into the world of freelance tutoring. Now let's dive into our first segment on the growing demand for tutoring services. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, tutoring isn't that just for kids struggling with algebra? Well, hold on to your hats because tutoring is so much more than just helping students with their homework. The demand for tutoring services is skyrocketing across various fields, and it's opening up some amazing opportunities for freelancers just like you. Now, first off, let's talk about academic tutoring. Yes, this is the classic tutoring most of us think about. There's a huge need for tutors in subjects like math, science, and languages. Parents are constantly looking for qualified tutors to help their kids not just catch up, but also to get ahead in school. With standardized testing, college prep, and the competitive nature of academics today, having a knowledgeable tutor can make all the difference. So if you have expertise in any academic subject, there's definitely a market out there for your skills. But don't stop there. Tutoring isn't just limited to school subjects. There's a massive and growing demand for tutoring in professional skills. So think about it. Businesses and professionals are always looking to upskill. Whether it's social media marketing, SEO, business communication, or even software skills like Excel or Photoshop, people are eager to learn. And if you've got experience in these areas, you can help professionals gain new skills that can boost their careers or businesses. And let's not forget the impact of online learning and remote work. The pandemic has changed the way we learn and work probably forever. Now, more and more people are comfortable learning online and actually many prefer it. This shift means you can reach clients far beyond your local area with tools like you know, Zoom or Google Meet and various educational platforms, you can conduct tutoring sessions from anywhere in the world. That is flexibility and freedom at its finest. So who exactly are these potential clients? Well, they they come from all walks of life. So you have students, of course, ranging from elementary school all the way to college and even grad school. Then there are um, professionals who are looking to gain new skills or improve existing ones. 
And let's not forget about hobbyists, people who want to learn something new just for the joy of it, like learning learning a new language, mastering a musical instrument, even getting into coding, or like me personally, learning how to garden. Let me give you a quick example of what that looks like. So I know a freelance tutor and she started offering high school students uh, tutoring in math. And as a pandemic hit and everyone moved online, she expanded her services to include adults wanting to learn data analysis for their jobs. Her business exploded. She now has clients from all over the country and she's even considering hiring additional tutors to meet the demand. The bottom line is, there's a huge and growing market for tutoring services, and it's not limited to any one area. So whether you're helping a student ace their exams, teaching a business owner how to improve their SEO, or guiding someone through the basics of a new language, you can make a significant impact and build a thriving freelance business. So if you have knowledge or skills in any area that can be taught, there's someone out there who's willing to pay for that knowledge. Tutoring is versatile, in demand, and it's something that can fit into your freelance portfolio perfectly. Now, let's get ready to explore how you can find your tutoring niche and stand out in this growing market. So now that we've explored the growing demand for tutoring services, let's dive into how you can identify your unique tutoring niche. This is such an exciting part because it's where your passion and expertise really come into play. Now, finding your niche isn't just about what you're good at. It's also about what lights you up and gets you excited to teach. So how do you determine your expertise and passion for tutoring? We'll start by making a list of subjects or skills you're really good at. Think about what you're naturally drawn to. Maybe you've always been the go-to person for math help in your family, or perhaps you have a knack for social media and can whip up a killer Instagram strategy in no time. Write these down. Next, consider what you're passionate about. Passion is key because it will keep you motivated and make your tutoring sessions more engaging for your students. So ask yourself, what could I talk about for hours and never get tired of? Now, once you have your list, it's time to research the market demand and identify your target audience. We've heard this in the podcast plenty of times, and it's just as important in this field as well. So for academic subjects, you have a lot of options. SAT prep is huge. Parents and students are always looking for ways to boost their scores and get into top colleges. ESL or English as a second language tutoring is another big one, especially with the global shift towards online education. And don't forget about college application coaching. Helping students craft compelling essays and navigate the application process can be incredibly rewarding. But it doesn't just stop there. Professional development is another goldmine for tutoring. You could offer sessions on LinkedIn optimization, helping job seekers and professionals enhance their profiles and stand out to recruiters. Digital marketing is another hot area. Teaching small business owners and entrepreneurs how to leverage social media, SEO, and online advertising can make a huge difference in their success. And let's not overlook coding boot camps. If you are tech savvy and you can teach coding languages, there are countless people looking to break into tech or level up their skills. So why is it important to niche down? Well, niching down helps you to stand out in a crowded market, right? So when you specialize in a specific area, you become the go-to expert for that niche. It's much easier to market yourself and attract clients when you're known for something specific. Now think about it. Would you rather hire a general tutor who dabbles in everything or a tutor who is an absolute pro at helping students ace the SAT? Exactly. By focusing on a niche, you not only set yourself apart, but you also make it easier for clients to find you and trust that you can deliver results. So take some time to reflect on your skills, your passions, and where there's demand in the market. Find that sweet spot where they all intersect and you will be well on your way to establishing a successful tutoring niche. Trust me, when you find your niche, everything else will start to fall into place. Now let's talk about crafting an effective curriculum and lesson plans. This is where the magic happens, where your expertise meets structure and where you create an impactful learning experience for your clients. 
So first things first, you need a structured curriculum tailored to your niche. Think about the goals of your clients. What do they want to achieve through your tutoring sessions? Whether it's acing a math test, mastering SEO, or learning a new language, your curriculum should be designed to help them reach those specific goals. So start by outlining the key topics and skills that you need to cover, and then break these down into manageable chunks and organize them into a logical sequence. This structure is going to guide your tutoring sessions and ensure that you cover all necessary material. Next, align your curriculum with educational standards and client goals. If you're offering academic tutoring, familiarize yourself with the relevant standards and curricula. So for instance, if you're tutoring high school students in the US, get to know the common core standards. Aligning with these standards not only ensures you're teaching what's required, but it also builds trust with parents and students. And for professional skills, tutoring, you can align your lessons with industry best practices and current trends. This alignment ensures your clients are learning the most up-to-date and relevant skills. Now, let's talk about making your lessons engaging and interactive. No one wants to sit through a boring lecture, right? So incorporate a variety of teaching methods to keep things lively. Use multimedia resources like videos and interactive software. These tools can make complex concepts easier to understand and keep your clients engaged. For example, if you're teaching digital marketing, show real-time examples of successful campaigns and then analyze them together. Interactive activities like quizzes, games, and hands-on projects can also make learning more enjoyable and effective. When creating lesson plans, it's crucial to cater to different learning styles. People absorb information in various ways, so incorporating visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning techniques is key. Visual learners benefit from diagrams, charts, and written notes. Auditory learners prefer listening to explanations and discussing concepts. Kinesthetic learners need hands-on activities to grasp the material. And by incorporating a mix of these techniques, you can ensure all your clients are engaged in learning effectively. Balancing theory with practical application is another important aspect. While it's essential to teach the foundational concepts, applying them in real-world scenarios solidifies learning. For instance, if you're tutoring in math, don't just explain formulas, work through real-life problems that require those formulas. If you're teaching SEO, have your clients create and optimize their own web pages. This practical approach not only enhances understanding, but it also builds confidence as clients see their progress in action. Finally, utilize resources and tools to enhance your lessons. There are countless educational tools available that can make your tutoring sessions more effective and enjoyable. Educational software like Khan Academy for academic subjects or Moz for SEO can provide valuable practice and insights. Multimedia resources such as instructional videos from YouTube or TED-Ed can bring a fresh perspective to your lessons. Hands-on activities like science experiments or coding projects can make abstract concepts tangible and fun. So remember, crafting an effective curriculum and lesson plans is all about structure, alignment with standards, engaging teaching methods, catering to different learning styles, balancing theory with practice, and utilizing the right resources. And with these elements in place, you will create a learning experience that's not only effective, but also so enjoyable and memorable for your clients. Now, it's time to dive into the into delivering engaging and impactful tutoring sessions. This is where all your preparation comes to life and you get to make a real difference in your clients' lives. So let's talk about some best practices to ensure your virtual tutoring sessions are top notch. First, let's set the stage. Literally, creating a professional and distraction-free environment is crucial. So find a quiet spot in your home where you can set up your tutoring space. Make sure it's well lit and free from background noise. Your background should be tidy and free from distractions because something like a plain wall or a simple bookshelf works great. This not only helps you focus, but it also shows your clients that you're serious and professional about your tutoring business. Now let's talk tech. Utilizing video conferencing tools effectively is key to smooth and interactive sessions. Platforms like Zoom or Google Meet are popular choices. Make sure you are familiar with the features of your chosen platform, so how to share your screen, use the whiteboard function, and manage breakout rooms if needed. 
Always test your equipment before the session starts to avoid any technical hiccups. A good internet connection, a quality webcam, and a reliable microphone can make a world of difference. Now, onto the fun part, keeping your students motivated and engaged. Interactive activities are a fantastic way to keep things lively. Use quizzes, polls, and games to break up the monotony and make learning fun. Real-time feedback is also crucial. So if your student is struggling with a concept, address it right away with positive reinforcement and encouragement. Celebrate their successes, no matter how small, to keep their spirits high. Encouraging questions and fostering a supportive learning atmosphere is another important aspect. Make sure that your students feel comfortable asking questions at any time. Create a safe space where they know there are no silly questions and their curiosity is welcomed. You know, sometimes students, they might be shy or hesitant to speak up, so prompt them gently. Ask open-ended questions like, what part of this topic do you find most challenging? Or, can you explain this concept back to me in your own words? Monitoring progress and adjusting your teaching methods is essential for effective tutoring. Regular assessments and feedback loops help you to gauge how well your students are absorbing the material. And this doesn't just mean giving tests. It can be as simple as a quick quiz, a verbal check-in, or a review of their homework. Based on their performance, adjust your teaching methods. If a student isn't grasping a concept, try a different approach. Maybe they need more visual aids, or perhaps breaking down the information into smaller chunks will help. Personalizing the learning experience is where you can truly shine as a tutor. Every student is unique, and their learning experience should be too. So pay attention to their strengths and weaknesses, their interests, and their learning styles, and then tailor your lessons to fit their needs. For instance, if a student loves music, incorporate songs into your language lessons. If they're a visual learner, use more diagrams and videos. The more personalized the learning experience, the more effective and enjoyable it will be. So remember, delivering engaging and impactful tutoring sessions is all about creating a professional environment, utilizing tech effectively, keeping students motivated, encouraging questions, monitoring progress, and personalizing the learning experience. With these strategies in place, you'll not only help your clients succeed, but also build a reputation as an outstanding tutor. Now, can you believe we've already reached the end of another jam-packed episode? Today, we took a deep dive into the wonderful world of tutoring as a freelance service. Let's quickly recap what we covered. First, we explored the growing demand for tutoring services across various fields. Whether it's academic subjects like math and science or professional skills like social media marketing and SEO, there's a huge market out there waiting for your expertise. Next, we talked about identifying your tutoring niche. Remember, it's all about finding that sweet spot where your skills, passion, and market demand intersect. From SAT prep and ESL to LinkedIn optimization and coding boot camps, there are so many exciting opportunities to specialize and stand out. Then, we discussed crafting an effective curriculum and lesson plans. A structured curriculum tailored to your niche, aligned with educational standards, and incorporating engaging and interactive teaching methods can make a world of difference. So don't forget to cater to different learning styles and balance theory with practical application. And finally, we dove into delivering engaging and impactful tutoring sessions. Creating a professional and distraction-free zone um, and environment, you know, utilizing video conferencing tools effectively, keeping students motivated and engaged, and personalizing the learning experience are all key to your success as a tutor. Now, I want to leave you with a little bit of encouragement. If you've been on the fence about diving into tutoring, let this be your sign to go for it. You have valuable knowledge and skills that can change someone's life. Tutoring is not just about teaching. It's about empowering others, making a difference, and really building a fulfilling and flexible career for yourself. Now remember, every successful tutor started exactly where you are now. It's about taking that first step, putting yourself out there, and continuously learning and growing along the way. You've got this. Now, before we wrap up, I have a small favor to ask. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe to the Bootstrap Mogul podcast so you never miss an episode. And if you found value in our discussion, I love if you could leave a review. Your feedback helps me to create content that serves you better. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Andres Elgin, and this has been the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast. Until next time, keep pushing forward, keep dreaming big, and keep building that freelance empire. You've got what it takes, and I'm here cheering you on every step of the way.